This is a video, a quick review about the Fortney Easy Weld. I saw this thing at Tractor Supply Company, 200 bucks tax. It's a pretty decent stick welder, especially if you have a farm or you just need to make a couple quick welds or hell, I don't know, maybe you wanted to buy your daughter an Easy Welder instead of an Easy Bake Oven. This would be the way to go. It says 90 amps. This thing doesn't really get 90 amps or above. I wouldn't weld anything on it other than, oh, does this thing have a TIG setting? Shit, that's funny. It stick welds just fine. I just don't think, you know, the thing goes up to 80, even though it says it's rated for 90 amps. I don't even know if it's getting 80 operating amps out of here. It's really small. I've used it for a few repairs around the farm. I think it's pretty great for what it is, especially for the size. I mean, this thing is tiny. Um, you know, you get a small generator, you hook it up to it. It runs off a 110 or 120 volt. It's decent for what it is. Um, here's some beads I laid down with it, uh, some 6011 rod and some 6013. I'm not the best welder by any means. You know, you can see where I got the 6011 on that fast freeze going, and these are the 6013. There's some spatter, and I'm just now getting back into welding, and that actually made me go buy this Rebel EMP215. So I actually am waiting to fire that guy up, brand new out of the box. I'll, I'll do a I don't need to do a video on it. There's pros out there that have told me all about this machine and that's why I bought it. But if you're gonna get this thing either as a stepping stone into something bigger or you just need something for quick fixes, it'll get the job done. I would not recommend anything that's gonna take a higher amperage than you know 70 amps realistically. So 330 second, 6013. 6010. I did a couple of eighth inch rods, but I think that's really, really pushing it for this machine. You know, if you have a, a, a small tractor or something, or just something you need to fill up real quick, it's a decent welder for the price. You can't beat it. Um, I, I'm going to hang on to this guy just to play around with it. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's decent. I'm actually, maybe I'll do a video later on the TIG setting. That's that's kind of interesting. Um, I didn't notice that before, but yeah, so cool. Sorry, that's out of focus, but every one of those was done with the easy. And this is just eighth inch plate metal on a little, you know, thing, practice thing I made out of some scrap I had laying around.